Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The family of mortar systems weaponry provides crucial, indirect fire support and is employed in all combat formations. Armies use several variants of mortar systems from 60mm to 240mm. Today, we will show you the 10 best mortar systems in the world. EMOS EMOS is a truck-mounted integrated mortar system designed and manufactured by Spanish defense company XPAL Systems. It is developed to support the current and future requirements of land forces. The EMOS weapon system can utilize an 81mm standard long-range mortar or a 60mm mortar, which can be interchanged within 3 minutes. The 81mm mortar weighs 40 kilograms and can fire at a rate of 25 rounds per minute up to a range of 6.9 kilometers. The 60mm mortar weighs 18.85 kilograms and fires at a rate of 35 rounds per minute up to a range of 4.9 kilometers. Alacran The Alacran is a 120mm mortar with a range of up to 8.2 km. It can be integrated onto a range of wheeled platforms that have a maximum payload of 1.5 tons without any need for structural reinforcements. The Alacran mortar system needs only 30 seconds to be ready to fire, 2 seconds to re-aim after shooting, 5 seconds to aim at a new target, and 15 seconds to be on the move again. The system can be operated with a crew of two, and the vehicle can carry a total of 40 rounds located on storage boxes on each side of the vehicle. Spear Mark II Spear Mark II is a fully autonomous soft recoil 120mm mortar based on a 4x4 light-wheeled armored vehicle. The mortar system was developed by Elbit Systems to support rapid engagement operations conducted by armed forces. The superior tactical mobility and survivability of the Spear Mark II mortar system makes it an ideal platform for shoot-and-scoot missions. The Spear Mark II system has a rate of fire of 15 rounds a minute. It can engage targets at a maximum range of 10 kilometers using standard ammunition. Asalan Alcar AHS-120 is a 120mm mortar system designed by the Turkish company Asalan. It was presented for the first time under the name Alcar during the International Defense Industry Exhibition IDF, which was held in February 2017. Alcar is a unit made for firing 120mm mines from a mobile platform or from a stationary position. Alcar can rotate 360 degrees and work day or night in all climate and weather conditions. AMOS The AMOS or Advanced Mortar System was developed as a joint venture between Patria, Finland, and Haglunds, Sweden. The AMOS is a turret with two 120mm breech-loaded mortars. Compared with conventional mortars, the AMOS has increased firepower. Its maximum rate of fire is 24 rounds per minute. Its maximum range of direct fire is 1500 meters. The AMOS is compatible with all standard 120mm mortar ammunition, as well as smart guided ammunition, including Strix Precision Guided Munitions. The Strix has a range of 5 km.
Nemo The Nemo of New Mortar was developed as a private venture by the Patria Weapons System, OI. It is a lighter version of the Amos Mortar System with a single barrel, integrated onto a Patria AMV 8x8 chassis. The Nemo is an unmanned mortar turret which can be fitted to most APCs or small naval vessels. The 120mm mortar barrel used in Nemo is basically identical to that installed in the twin Amos. Its firing range is about 10 kilometers, depending on the projectile and charge combination. The Nemo fires high explosive frag, smoke, illumination, and cargo rounds. It is also compatible with all standard 120mm mines. US-31 Vina The 2S-31 Vina self-propelled mortar system was revealed in 1997. This vehicle is designed to support mechanized infantry formations. The 2S-31 Vina mortar system has been trialed by the Russian Army. However, its small-scale production commenced only in 2013. The 2S-31 Vina is armed with a 120mm rifled gun mortar. It is a further development of the 2A-51 gun mounted on the 2S-9 Nona S. The 2S31 Vina has longer firing range compared to the 2S9 Nona S, even though it uses the same ammunition. This mortar system can be used as a mortar or howitzer, delivering direct or indirect fire. Its maximum range of fire is 7.2 km with mortar mines and 13 km with gun shells. The 2S9 Nona S The 2S9 Nona S self-propelled mortar system was developed for use by the Soviet Air Assault Division. The 2S9 Nona S is armed with a 2A51 120mm breech-loaded mortar. It is compatible with rifled rounds, specially developed for this artillery system, and any 120mm mortar mines. Its maximum range of fire is 8.85 km with ordinary projectiles. 12.8 km with rocket-assisted projectiles, and 7.1 km with mines. Thin aluminum armor of the 2S9 Nona S provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The 2S4 Tielpin The 2S4 Tielpin self-propelled mortar was developed in the late 1960s. The first prototype was completed in 1969. It was accepted to service with the Soviet Army in 1971. Around 400 of these vehicles were built. It saw action in Afghanistan and Chechnya. Currently, this self-propelled mortar is in service with Russia and possibly some other countries. The vehicle is fitted with an externally mounted 240mm breech-loaded mortar. It was developed from the M240 towed mortar. The 2S4 fires all types of mines developed for the M240, including high explosive, anti-armor, and chemical. A standard high explosive mine weighs 130 kilograms and has a maximum range of 9.6 kilometers. Its maximum range of fire is 19 kilometers with rocket-assisted mines. The 2S4 is capable of firing laser-guided munitions. M1129 Stryker The M1129 mortar carrier is a member of the Stryker family of armored vehicles. It supports infantry operations in complex terrain and urban environments. The M1129 is fitted with a Saltum Cardum 120mm mortar, which fires a full range of ammunition, including high explosive, precision guided, dual purpose, smoke, illumination, and IR rounds. Its maximum range of fire is 6,800 meters. Its rate of intense fire is 16 rounds per minute. However, this is for sustained fire. The armor of the M1129 provides protection against 7.62mm rounds. Add-on ceramic armor tiles can be added for a higher level of protection. That's all friends, thanks for watching!
Write in the comments which of the mortar systems you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.